so hi guys i am very excited about the today's sessions and yeah so today we are going to create a cube in css as you hear it right wait a minute yeah this is exactly yeah so like this way we are you know going to create a cube and yes exactly uh this is based on only css so i won't write a single line a code of javascript and just using css we're going to create a cube and we'll put some animation on this as well so hope you like this video and without wasting any time let's just get started here uh, we are going to create a cube by uh, css only so let's just get started and create a div give a class name as uh, you can say like container okay just close it and now you know just uh, create a div sorry and which will be having the class uh, as cube your cube yeah exactly your cube okay so in this cube uh, you will be having six faces okay so there are a couple of faces to closing just copy this six time let's name the faces the first one will be the front then right face then back face then left face and then top and bottom okay so we'll be having these three faces as we are not using javascript as i promised you so we are just you know avoiding it okay so now we are uh, you know created everything in html and now just directly go jump into the uh, css and see what can be the performance so i'm just saying back body i'm just changing the background color which is you know let it be dark as developers likes dark mode yeah so 444 is a dark gray okay so after that i'm going to give some styling to the container width let's suppose 300 pixel height let's suppose 300 pixel again and then border solid thin line let's give some margin as well 300 pixel auto auto sorry auto okay so now it is in center i feel like okay so after that i am going to uh give some styling to the cube cube the same width and height okay and i'm just uh, you know uh, i'm just uh, translating this transform this cube translate z just half width and in behind into the z axis so like this way so this is the important thing that i'm just you know translating uh, this cube in behind to the z index and which is minus 150 just half of the width okay i'm just uh, writing the position absolute sorry uh i'll write in position relative okay and after that we are going to create the faces okay so the faces uh, uh so we can give a common class to every face which will be the face okay and i'm going to just copy paste it for every face okay let's tile the face class now the position absolute okay so they can get into the same layer okay and the same width height as well okay let's just give the color to everyone okay start with the front okay so the front will be the background let's suppose white color yeah it is 
okay then dot white background red i would say let it be red okay and then back what color what color what color background let's say green yeah let, then after back we have left background blue yeah then dot top background what kind of background you want to give to it that will be the yellow and dot bottom in the last sorry this way background yeah this is orange orange perfect so i've given all the faces some color and you can see the all colors are reflecting here now now we need to check whether it is working correctly or not so there's one property that we need to give uh, to this cube so that uh, it will have the 3d form which is transform style preserve hyphen 3d okay so this is the way we can you know basically make the things uh, which retains the 3d styling okay so here uh, to look upon the uh, 3d we need to give some perspective and i'm just getting a perspective of 600 pixel and now you can see that there is some change there is a perspective okay so if i want to have a look that uh, what is the way if i'm looking any you know uh 3d so just move it to 30 degree and now you can see this it is working as a 3d yeah you, can you see this yeah it is okay so now we are satisfied that it will be uh, in 3d so first uh, let's just create oh Okay, let's just have rotate uh, uh, eggs 30 degree. Okay, so here we have ro rotated it and let's just, you know, starting by when we are providing the transform, transform to the, yeah, rotate and for the front, we need not to rotate anything. So I'm just writing zero degree and then i'm just you know uh, curious about the translate translate and i'm just doing it translate z to the 150 pixel and let's just copy this thing for the front and and just use it for every face i'm just uh, trying with the right face uh, we need to rotate 90 degree and go to the right you can see this and if we use to the back we need not to uh, yeah we need not we need to rotate it to the 180 degree and then uh, to for the left uh, we, we have to rotate it to minus 90 degree uh, yeah it's working and for the top you can see that instead of y we have to rotate it to the x or in to the 90 degree and then uh, same for the bottom and which is minus 90 degree at the x axis and uh, yeah so here it is and to give some animations okay so we can use the hover fx so just use cube colon hover and give some transition so you you know Actually, you can see the animations and just copy this thing. Okay. And just, you know, rotate X and you can also rotate Y of 360 degree. 
if you want to have a look look at this yeah isn't it awesome so hope you like this video and now you can create a cube and which is perfect yeah you can see every face over here and if this border is you know uh, creating issue for you you can just remove it and now you can enjoy your independent cube which is awesome yes so hope you like this video and if you have any query related to this video you can comment me into the comment section and just let me know what more you want in this video so i hope you really liked it and will surely make such video moves so thank you